If you go by your standards, ninety pa ninety-eight percent of the people are bad, so you will be repulsed by them. And if you have to work with them, if you have to love them, if you have to reach out to them, it will take a huge toll on you. If you just accept them the way they are, everybody comes with their problems. You see I'm responsible for them or you accept them the way they are, then we will see what to do with them. Maybe we can rub them and make them little more sensitive. Maybe we can peel their skin off and make them little more skin sensitive. If their skin is thick, we peel it off, then they feel everything. That's what I'm trying to do with you. Just trying to peel your skin off a little bit though it hurts, so that you become really sensitive to everything around you. <laughs> that sounds like… what? Hmm? Abrasive, sadism, whatever you like, but that's the only thing works that I've seen. So we want to just scrape off your skin so that you become truly sensitive to life everything you feel. If you had no skin, you would feel everything intensely, isn't it? So, we're just trying to make you feel intensely about everything. That is spirituality, that you feel about every atom in the existence, intensely. Like you would have felt if your child was in the verge of death, how you would feel, like that you feel about every single creature on the planet. Now you will be overwhelmed with it initially, but once you come to terms with it, now there's a new kind of balance in you. Nothing can throw you off balance anymore. Once you've started feeling like this, somewhere a natural organization, reorganization will happen within you that either you have to just fall dead with the feeling or you'll come to a new balance. You won't fall dead, don't worry, you're capable of this. If you make yourself feel overwhelmingly for all life, you will see it will not kill you. It will bring you to a new height of life and give you a new sense of balance which empowers a human being in a huge way. For more on Sadhguru, visit www.ishafoundation.org.